Come on, got one. Nice one. Running pretty good. Flashy olive every time. Kills it in this river. This feels like a big fish, big head shakes. It ran pretty good. I mean, the water's murky today. This might be our opportunity to get in some large fish on this highly pressured river. Yeah, this big one. This big fish, guys. This is a really big fish. Dandy gang. What's going on, guys? So we're at the Farmington today. It's been a while since I've been here, but it's a cloudy, rainy day. This is when I like to fish this river. The fish are a little bit less picky, but more importantly, less people. And that's what I care about when I come here. So with that being said, make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel. Drop a like on the video. And if you're interested in other social media pages, my TikTok, my Instagram, my Facebook, things that stay more up to date, like on a daily basis, links are in the description. If you guys want to use the exact flies I'm going to use today, they're on the website, ddflies.com. Everything you buy in there supports the channel at the same time. I tie everything myself. Check them out. Check out the other videos if you're new to the channel. They flat out work. I think we're just going to run down there. Hopefully the water's not too murky. We might swing some streamers. Might just use the flashy olive today. See what we can move. Hopefully we get a big, giant brown trout. I think these flashy olive are going to be the move. I've gotten a lot of good reports on these lately here at the Farmington. I've done really well in previous videos on this exact fly. So we'll have to see what happens, but if you guys are kind of new to fly fishing, I'd recommend buying these off the website. They really cut down on the learning curve. It really doesn't take a whole lot of skill. If you can just toss these in the current, let them swing across the current, they move fish. So I think we're just gonna use some flashy olives today. Man, this water is high. Super high. I wanna get up into there, I just don't know if I can today. This might be as far as I can go without dying. I put on a new leader by the, oh, I went to 4X. Water's so murky I can't see any rocks where I'm stepping or nothing. Might have to go up to Riverton just to have some fishable water, which sucks. I mean, I hate fishing way up there. At least this is weightable down here. Still hate the color of the water though. Color is terrible. I don't know. I'm not really feeling too good right now about our chances of hooking many fish. I had no idea. I mean, I get the rain, but it's a tailwater. How could it be this screwed up? The still river didn't even look high. Oh, had one, shoot. All right, so got a bite. We got a bite at least. Try that again. So I think I got way out there that time. Kind of like that. I'll let even a little extra line out. Really let it swing way out in there. The water levels aren't too, too bad. It's the clarity. The only way to beat that is to go above the still river. We're gonna have to go back up into like freaking. oh, I'm on. Oh, I'm off. Nice fish. That was pretty heavy fish. Shoot. So that's two bites in here on the, on the olive. Man, I, I left my flies in the water. I started walking out of here. All right, guys, gotta be honest, not looking good today. Went downstream, water was even worse. Went up to Riverton, and the whole town's up there. There's like five cars at every spot. So what do we wanna do? Fish 10 feet away from someone? Oh, had one. Had one there. Fly looks good. Shoot. It's a good take too. Felt pretty felt pretty big.
Come on, got one. Nice one. Running pretty good. Flashy olive every time. Kills it in this river. This feels like a big fish, big head shakes. It ran pretty good. I mean, the water's murky today. This might be our opportunity to get in some large fish on this highly pressured river. Yeah, this big one. This big fish, guys. This is a really big fish. Oh, he's got me snagged, I think. Oh, he had me. He had me snagged. That was a huge fish. Broke me off. That was a big brown. I could see the color from a distance. That was a huge brown. That was probably 20 inch fish. I could see the color when he was at his furthest most point. I saw a big gold flash of, a big, uh, big flash of gold. I just didn't want to start tripping on video. There's one, nice fish, big one. Got one, got one, nice brown, nice brown. Please be on the stone fly. I just like the having, the oh, it came off. Man, this is just a tough day. That was another big brown trout. Nowhere near the one we moved on the bugger, but that, that was all of uh, 15, 16. I'm not sure which fly it was on, but that was another really nice brown. This has been a really tough day. I mean, we've probably missed seven or eight fish now, and there's been some really high quality fish I've missed. This is tough. But, but we're moving fish now, it's okay. Oh, wow. Man, that last one hurts. Just want to get one in the net. Oh, that stinks. Good hook set on that one too. Kept the line tight. It's just part of the game. Some, some days it doesn't go your way and that's all right. There's one. Little wild brown. Let's just get one in the net. All right, all right. Orange crush. Wild brown trout on the orange crush, so. Flies are starting to move some fish here. Super quick look at this little wild brown trout. Pretty cool. We'll, uh, we'll see if we can get in there and land one of these nicer trout. Oh, came off. Stonefly. So I think the water is just a little bit too high to really be working this pocket water the way I like to work it. Low water, way better. Squeeze the fish in, really condense them. You know, you come out here when there's only 80 CFS and uh, there's just only so many places for the fish to go. Put a good drift in those couple of places and it's just a home run. You can just pull out fish after fish after fish after fish. But I mean, look at this. Any of those little runs could have fish, maybe behind that rock, this rock, that rock, this rock. The water under those tree limbs next to the bank. Like the fish are just out swimming around right now. And this is just not effective, so. Back downstream to the spot we were at earlier. So, I don't know, kind of a slow day. We've had some bites, lost some quality fish, caught some small ones. Sorry, this isn't the best episode I've ever had on the channel, but is what it is. You know, I always give you guys the episode regardless of my success level. All right, guys, I'm on. I got one. Of course, I turned the camera off for a second. I don't know if it's big or what, but we moved one on the olive, finally. I don't think it's huge. Yeah, not huge, but at least we got another fish on. Oh no, that's pretty nice fish. I don't know why I got it so close so easily. It's pretty nice. Looks like a good brown. This would uh, this would be a nice one to end the day with. Well, we're gonna keep fishing until dark, but if we can at least get this one. Barbless fly though. I'm on 4X. Not a huge fish, but the biggest of the day if we can land it. Get up here. It's a rainbow. All right, take it. Oh, there he goes. Like a 12, 13 inch rainbow. See what else we can get in here. Dang. Well, that might be the end of today. 
Don't want to break my rod. And it's gone. All right, ladies and gentlemen, not the greatest episode. Move some good fish. Could have been a great day if we caught that first brown. It was a giant. It looked about 21, 22, but all in all, can't complain. Got some fish, and uh, I'll see you in a couple days with the next episode.